Julie, did they tell you you'd be running down walls with your head? No, and I'm <laughs> thrilled. I just think it was, it was like, oh, thank you. you know? Maybe you ladies can come a little closer to them so we can get to Oh, the sorry about that. Yeah. Sure. We talk loud, don't worry. We will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But it's, it's a little more physical for you. I, mean, I think it's I mean, great. not really yeah. for you, but your character. No, I love it. I think the queen really comes into her own, and uh, yeah, I'm great. delighted. That's great. <laughs> so, when, I mean, when you got the call that you were coming back, is that something that you definitely just said yes to? And Absolutely. No question. No question. question. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, me neither. No, I mean, how, how nice could it be, you know? When did you find out after the... I don't recall. It just I don't either. <laughs> I think it's just sort of been like this... IV that's been in my arm, <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, it's just sort of been, like drawn. It's like kind of like this, uh, you know, lifeline, this sort of extra added bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's charming. It really is. And you do a little bit of humming of some some tunes that uh, might be. It's funny to- how many people picked up on that. <laughs> <laughs> really, it is. I just love the fact that she does this head about twice, and it it makes us slightly delirious. I love that <laughs> slight satire. Right? Mm-hmm. It's terrific. Yeah. The thing about these animated movies is they're around forever, and they you know, are. twenty years from now, they'll be putting out another DVD or whatever the media is that you know that's, a special special edition. You know, when and, they're done as well as Shrek is done, yeah. it's such a joy because so you it, know it's going to be an iconic movie. Yeah, is that part of the appeal for for being in, in one of these? Well, it's certainly you're very grateful. I think isn't it true? Don? Definitely. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just I'm so happy to be a part of it because of the integrity of the film, you yeah. know, the, the message that it puts out every time. And, you know, um, you know, the, the fact that it's, it's, it's for so many audiences and it's on, you know, even the message that Fiona gives, it's represent, you know, the, the, the princesses are, are the vehicle for that story. You know, they, they tell the story of don't just sit around and wait to be rescued, go out and take care of it. If you want this, go and get it. Don't, you know, you know, you can't wait for somebody to do it for you. That's a message for everyone, you yeah. know, um, and it's for and it's a, it's it's for boys and girls, men and women, and it's for people who who've known it all along and need to hear it again, and it's for people who've never heard it and heard, need to hear it for the first time. So, you know, it's that kind of um, you know delivering that and putting that out into the world. I think is you know I'm just honored to be a part of that, and I want to be a part of that. Plus the fact that you know that you know they're going to take that technology they made. You look the first one to the third one, how they've, you know, they just... Yeah, I mean, the quality of this third one is superb. Mm-hmm. It's luminous, and uh, it's pretty, and uh, I, I, I mean, I went, and I'm so pleased that everybody else picked up on it. Everybody, uh, in all my interviews yesterday, they were saying, oh, it's just, you know, who knew that digital animation could go even further than it, than it was? Yeah, it's definitely it's, the best animated. Isn't it? Yeah. It's wonderful yeah. to look at. Yeah. Karen, were you were you delighted when you read that it's sort of like the, the princesses go a little Charlie's Angels there? Mm-hmm. I mean, was that something you suggested or they just did that? No, they just did that. I had no idea. You know, it's a discovery for me when every time I go in, it's, you know, what's it going to be? And, um, you know, it definitely, I was like, really? <laughs> and I just love it, too. Like, I love how they're just, like, ripping off their, you know, sleeves. And, you know, I love when um, when uh, the, the stepsister, when, when um, uh, Larry, Larry he holds oh, yeah. it off and he's got the tattoo. It's just like, you're like, that's just, it's brilliant. It's brilliant, you know. And the, and the great thing oh. is it's how they deliver that. They, they deliver that message with humor. You know, they deliver it in the best possible way, which is, you know, um, and, and then, and they do it as uh, turning, you know, the, the traditional te- fairy book princess on its, its ear, so it's not, they don't need you, to you get to, they're going to do the yeah, rescue. Yeah, they, they, hit it, they hit it on, they hit so many different levels, you know, in, in delivering that message, and um, it's fun, it's really fun, I love it. Has the process changed at all in the three films, or has it pretty much been the same? Just to repeat each time. Um, well, no, the actual work process doesn't change. You go mm-hmm. into the booth all by yourself, and you don't meet your fellow actors, which mm-hmm. is, it's sad. It's just the way animation is done. But we do, thank God, all meet yeah, up later. This is, when, <laughs> this is yeah. when we get to work together. Yeah, or <laughs> if we travel somewhere together, we go on a flight together or something mm-hmm. like that. But as it's being the third movie, you obviously both know your characters so well. Is there any, you know, can you suggest anything? Can you, like, be like... They're, they're open to suggestion. 
Yeah. yeah. Can you think of any instances, especially in this movie, where you've done? Well, it? you know, I. It's very true. The first time, the first Shrek, I had no idea what I was doing, and through the and I didn't know Fiona at all. I had no idea who she was. I didn't know how in what context you fit into the story. You know. And as the, it's gone now, now I do. I look out for her in a totally different way. I, mm-hmm. I respect her. I, I want to protect her. Um, not that I have to, because they all have her best interest in, in, in as well. Obviously, <laughs> they want to. They want to be true to Fiona as well. Um, the one instance that the only thing that I can think of is after Prince, after Fiona and and Shrek got married, there was a slight nag. That started to happen. Oh. <laughs> that I was not so keen on. I was like, she cannot be a nag. She, cannot, she has to be. And it's not. I mean, like she, you know, she was a little bit not. She was a little bit selfish about how she expected Shrek to show up for her. Mm-hmm. And I just didn't feel it was fair to yeah, him. Absolutely right. You know, because yeah, she's he, so sweet. Yeah, she, she shouldn't. Be. You know, she should. She knows Shrek. She knows his weaknesses. She knows it's hard for him to be out of the swamp and be in the kingdom. And she can't expect him to show up for her every single time, you know. And even in that scene where they have to get dressed up, you know, that was sort of that thing of like, you know, come on, Shrek, do this. You know, it's like, please, you know, for her, you know, turn, turn it into like, please do this. You know what I mean? I know it's hard for you, but please can you do it? Not, I can't believe you're not going to do this for me. You know what I mean? So it's that kind of mentality. Do each of you believe in happily ever after, or is is that just kind of a myth? I mean, can you have a happily ever after? Well, it depends on what your idea of happily ever after is. I think everybody has a different idea of what happily ever after is. So, mm-hmm. I believe in happily ever after. It doesn't. I've never seen it written in a book. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I've never seen any princess, you know, mm-hmm. acted out for me. Yeah. But I definitely have a happy ever after. Mm-hmm. So. And Julie, I do. Mm-hmm. I think I do. I think happily ever after probably comes from here mm-hmm. first, mm-hmm. and uh, and how much two people want to do happily ever after, depending as you say what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, but oh, we're both so blessed. I mm-hmm. mean, how could it not be happily yeah, ever I'm, after? I, if it ended today, it's happily ever after. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like, exactly. Right. So you know, that's somebody asked me the other day. She's like, "How come you're always so smiley?" I'm like. Well, yeah. I like, Duh. Yeah. because I'm grateful for everything that I have in my life. I have no reason not to be smiling. Right. I had like the best life ever. <laughs> no, I have the best I life. Know. Life. <laughs> you do. You do. I'm, I'm just wondering, getting back to the uh, point of uh, recording in the booth by yourself, is, is there any frustration uh, that after you've done this and you, you see the movie, it, it all works, but you having the, the perspective of having done it, know that you could have done something else. To make it work well, they, they, if they're not quite satisfied with what you've done, you can go back in, or vice versa. You can say, mm-hmm. I'd love to try that again if I could. But they ask you to give so many variations on the same line. Uh, you know, sometimes they're, as particularly, I don't know how much you did, but with mum, they weren't sure how, right. with with um, Harold they, and everything. Yeah, they always have like a certain... They have they, backups. They, yes, because they change it and because they're animating. And so they we actually have no idea what the final choice <laughs> will be until you see it up there on yeah. the screen. Well, that's actually a really good subject because the, the death of a king is a really sensitive subject to have in a movie yes. that a five-year-old are going to go yes. to. Yes. It's hilarious. So, yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> Did they record a lot of stuff because they weren't necessarily sure? How well, a lot of my Harolds were, 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 they could have been as pleading or as, Harold, get yourself together, or it could have been any of those, and they chose the one that's in the movie right now. Mm-hmm. I don't remember which version. That was. <laughs> are, there, are there a lot of hidden discoveries when you see it? Oh, yes, and that's great fun. And, and some of some wonderful aha moments when you say, oh, "I'm so glad I did that because yeah. it makes her, her character feel better." Yeah, I think that the the for me and what just popped into my mind just now thinking about your question was, um, you know, I, I I think that we're I'm a perfectionist. I always want to do it the best that it can be done. Yes. Um, when I see anything that I've done up on the screen, I'm always like. Oh, now I know. I could have yeah. done it so much better. I know. You know? But in particular True. with this movie, because um, because uh, for many different reasons, but specifically because you are on your own, and although you're working with Chris Miller, who is brilliant at all the voices and is so much fun gentle, to work sweet, with, yeah. and yeah, so wonderful, it still isn't. And he's he knows what other the other actors have done. He, it's still not working with the other person and so when you see their performance you go oh 
oh, 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 okay, that's how they did it. That's what they were doing. And so you kind of go, oh, God, if I had known that's how they were doing it. But that's where you put your trust into the, into the director, and ultimately you, you know that if that didn't get up on the screen, unless it's what he knew worked with the other actor's performance mm -hmm. and that he felt that it was mm -hmm. appropriate and fit in together. So that's where you just, in, in this as in any film, is that you put all of your, that's why, you know, the director is the most important thing. Also, in, the, the in ones a regular movie, together. you are holding your character <clears throat> in a, in a, live action movie, you're holding your character in your head the whole time. In this particular case, I think the director's holding yes. the characters yes. in his head. So he just keeps asking you for this yeah. or asking you for that yeah. and Definitely. obviously knows when he's got it. Mm -hmm. And so the actual concern of of where am I going and will this match with that? If that part is taken away. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask my little girl question. Favorite fairy tale princess when you were a little girl? Either in film or books? Or Famous fairy tale. Favorite. Well, I mean, yeah. Favorite. I didn't have one. I just didn't have like any idea. I, I didn't watch the the fairy tale. Were you I a think Barbie in like, girl though or anything. No. Or no? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had Barbies <laughs> because every girl does, but it wasn't like you know. I don't know. I always wanted to cut their hair. I'm a huge ballet fan, and for me, I think the loveliest princess is probably Sleeping Beauty mm -hmm. because it's such a glorious ballet and, uh, yeah. and she's always such a nice princess you know she's such a generous and sweet lovely Sleeping in the yeah that I, 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 that I really like, identify with yes. I did like Cinderella because I did like the idea of the glass slipper mm -hmm. I like the slipper <laughs> having that tiny foot doesn't it's so it. sweet and on the step with the little thing you know, that was sweet <laughs> my, uh, my little girl question um, <laughs> now, if, now that you've had a chance to see the movie, can you step back and say who your favorite character is? Not the favorite actor anymore. No, they're enjoy great at all of them. <laughs> My favorite is the gingerbread man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, fall, I fell in love with him in the very... No, no, not the bubble go! <laughs> Let me go drop buttons! <laughs> the first one, I was like... I was like, I love you. You are hilarious. And he's just like there. And he's like, the baker man. He goes, who did it? The ba baker's man. What, what, is, what is it? Um, uh, the baker man. He's the uh, ginger. Wait, wait. What is, no. I'm trying to quote. I remember that. You know, he goes, uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Forget about it. This is why I, I just, yeah, that's, that's why I can't speak another language. <laughs> So Julie, Baker as, a, man, as a classically man. trained actor, do you have misgivings about being in a movie with fart jokes? <laughs> no. Are you kidding? I live with a guy that writes yeah. them all the time in his movies. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask the question of what you guys are both working on now or future projects? Uh, well, you know, I have a book imprint, uh, a publishing imprint of children's books. Mm -hmm. So I've been uh, working very hard on that and we have... I just had a book just come out, and uh, another three, not necessarily mine, but the, that I have been responsible for, coming out this year. Wow. And um, I'm also working on my autobiography, which will come oh, out next awesome. April, I think. <laughs> so I'm on a, such a deadline. I feel in? slightly cross-eyed. Yeah. 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 You can't read in your autobiography? Yeah. No, exactly. <laughs> Uh, she'll be in she, part two. Yeah, yeah. yeah she, it just goes what it goes I'm up a, until it goes to Hollywood. Coffins and, and that area, no, but it's no. all my early life, really. Mm -hmm. Which that's mm -hmm. a very good. Which we don't know, know about. Yeah. So. I haven't finally decided, so I'm not mm -hmm. going to tell you mm -hmm. because um, I thought I had, and um, then the, the publisher said, "Well, it is a good title, but and." We'll see. I know it should be. What? My favorite things. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but have they, have they talked about making any of your books into, like, children's books? Yes. Movies? There's a lot of talk going mm -hmm. on about them. And um, as a matter of fact, um, two of them are now being talked about as, as theater musicals. Uh, one of the little books is being done for children's theater mm -hmm. all across the country, which is lovely, and we're working on that. Songs and uh, script, speaking which my daughter and I write. Speaking of theater, I'm from Boston. I had a chance for you when you came in with the boyfriend. See yeah. the boyfriend there? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I did the press event and all that. Um, I th I sort of doing, think we may have met before. Will, so will you be doing more? I hope so. I had so such a joyous time mm -hmm. doing that. I loved it, and uh, it was like everything I'd ever learned in my whole life focused into what I might be able to pass on to these wonderful young kids. Wow. Yeah. 
Kim. Yeah, Mark, Kim, could you actually <laughs> answer my question of what you're working on? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we not like I wasn't <laughs> Um, well, I'm working on my hair color at the moment. Yeah. So <laughs> just teasing. Um, <laughs> um, I am waiting to see exactly what I will be doing. I, I'm hoping that I'll be, the, you know, one of the things that I'm, the, one of the few things that I'm looking at will be sticking on the wall for the summer. So, we'll see. Mm-hmm. I'm returning to, with my key to a certain series. Charlie? No. Uh, no, not that I know of. Uh, okay. Is he doing it? He's, well, he Is said, he really? I, yeah, I talked to him a couple weeks ago. He said really? There's a possibility that he wow, God, I gotta call him up and see what's going on. So, <laughs> um, so you yeah. Have, oh, you haven't I'm sorry. The no, I haven't. Oh, wow, the, maybe okay. I'm not gonna do it. Maybe that's <laughs> No, I, I, I haven't, you know, I haven't spoke to anybody oh. about that. No. Mm-hmm. Do you have any summer plans have of vacation oh, or any place to get away? Or <clears throat> I would one? love, I've been saying to Blake, could we just go away for a, a mm-hmm. few weeks? Because uh, I've been so busy and nose to the grindstone with the biography. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As I say, I feel slightly cross-eyed from <laughs> concentrating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But you haven't decided yet where you're going to Haven't decided. Yeah. Yeah. What was the push that made you want to do it? Because when we did The Princess Diaries, we asked you about you know, the biography, and you were going, well, I don't know. I don't yeah. At that time, I don't think you were doing it. And there must have been something you wanted to do it now. Um, I don't know. Uh, the the uh, company that asked me, Hyperion, have been uh, sweetly and doggedly mm-hmm. after me for about 10 years now. Mm-hmm. Uh, will you, will you, will you? And... Um, they, I finally said, yes, I, I don't know if I can, but I'll try. And they gave me a very small down payment, and I've been trying to give it back to them ever since. <laughs> but they won't accept it back. No, they, they it's, I wasn't very smart. And um, so then, of course, deadlines kept going by, and deadlines kept going by. So now it's a question of, okay. And they did a very smart thing. You know, I write with my daughter, and they said, Will you keep your mother at it? Will you start <laughs> interviewing her? And so she's been a tremendous help. She's been helping me mm-hmm. really focus and, and does a lot of the research. You can't imagine how much research there is, you know, you on your own life. On your own life. <laughs> but, but when you're actually writing it, it's like, well, when. What was the theater that we rehearsed in? I think it was that, but was it? Mm-hmm. And then you can't find the data, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, or uh, did did I send the dog home ahead of time, or did I <laughs> did I travel with it? I don't remember traveling with it. You know? yeah. Is there, is there a, uh, a deadline on your calendar that you're just dreading that you have to? Yes, yeah. uh, like last week, you know. <laughs> but no, I am. It's it's down to the wire. I just want to ask Karen, uh, what's the one quality Fiona has that you like the most about her? Mm. I think that she's just, I, I like that she's the anchor, you know. She's like mm-hmm. the anchor to all these like crazy characters that swarm around her in this mm-hmm. tribe called Shrek, you know. It's like <laughs> they have this, uh, they have... Um, you know, they're just she. She's the the sort of like the straight man. You know what I mean? She kind of she's like the glue. she's the glue, and she kind of guides it through. That's why I, when I see her, you know, as I hear Antonio and and Eddie, they 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 ad lib a lot. But so for me, Fiona has like I have a lot of alternate lines that I go with Fiona with. Um, you know, and I and as Julie said, you do it a thousand different ways. You do it every single which way, but I feel like she's sort of like this, she's the arrow that's been shot and everything else is just sort of traveling with her, so. Strong woman, yeah. Yes. Any thoughts on Mr. Timberlake's performance? I think he's fantastic. He's great. How did he get hooked up with that? I think Jeffrey had a crush on him for a really long time. (laughs) (laughs) I know I did. (laughs) If you remember in in the first, um, the first Shrek, there was a Sir Justin poster yeah. on Fiona's yeah. bed that had, no, had nothing to do with that. Yeah. So oh. I think that was something that you know they uh, that Jeffrey sort of had in his mind. It's just that they take any aspect of life yeah. and yeah. just tweak it the tiniest bit. Yeah, you know? it's great. It's mm-hmm. really fun. Yeah, that was great. Appropriate. They obviously they do their homework one way or another. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for Shrek for you. Oh, if they do, I'm 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 in it. I'm there. I'm there. I'll buy a ticket.